Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to explain about one of those grammar material that I already explained that is conditional sentence but before that, let me introduce myself my name is Koma Husmita Pasatania Maiswari so let's move on to the explanation first of all, let's talk about the definition of conditional sentences Conditional sentences are one of the types of conditional sentences. Complex sentences or compound sentences are formed from subordinate clauses that begin with subordinate conjunction if in the form of conditions and main clause in the form of result of or consequence. So commonly uh, in conditional sentence uh, is composed uh, of two parts. The first one is if clause and the second one is main clause. For example, if it rains tomorrow, I will not come. So from if it rains tomorrow, sorry, if it rains tomorrow, uh, that is the if clause and the I will not come is the main clause. Okay, uh, in conditional sentence, there are three types. Uh, the first one is conditional sentence type 1 or future conditional. The second one is conditional sentence type 2 or present conditional. And last is conditional sentence type 3 or past conditional. Okay, let's talk uh, about more specific from uh, conditional sentence type 1. Conditional sentence type 1 is uh, all great expectation or presupposition made by the subject can be uh, fulfilled. So, uh, in other words, um, what that subject have or done, it, it, have, uh, it will be happen. So, the um, formula is if plus subject plus verb 1, that the verb 1 is maybe plus s plus s or plus es after that plus subject um, plus will can may or must and plus verb zero or verb one um, in conditional sentence type one there is no fact um, but uh, it's only the consider the possibility i have um, two notes um, in conditional sentence type 1, the first one is model that is usually requested is will plus verb 0. And second one, if clause uh, does not have, if clause does not have to be placed uh, at the beginning of the sentence, but it can be reversed. So if you want to place the if clause behind, there is no need to use commas. And uh, in conditional sentence, um, we know that uh, there are another formula or another type. Uh, it's called uh, the inversion. So, in conditional sentence, type 1 uh, has inversion. The formula is should plus subject plus verb 0 plus subject plus will plus verb 0. Uh, example of conditional sentence type 1 is if Tom wakes up earlier he will not miss the morning class so here if is the if if it as the if and then the Tom as the subject wakes as the verb one that um, plus s because the subject is he after that uh, up earlier is the another word um, after that, he is the subject. Will not is the will uh, on negative statement. Miss is the verb zero. After that, the morning class is another word. And the possibility in conditional sentence step one is the first one. He will miss the morning class if Tom does not wake up earlier. And the second possibility. He will not miss the morning class if Tom wakes up earlier. Next, the example of inversion in conditional sentence type 1. Should, uh, should I have the money 
I will buy a car. So should is the auxiliary. I as the subject. Uh, have as the verb zero and the money as the word, another word. I is the subject. Will is the will. Buy is the verb zero. Next, it's conditional sentence type two. It is unlikely that the subject's expectation or preposition can be acquired. So, um, in this conditional sentence type two, um, all that subject have or done it may be happen. So it's it's fifty fifty. The formula is if plus subject plus verb two plus word plus subject plus would could or might plus verb zero the fact in conditional sentence type two is the opposite of the independent clauses and also i have to note the first one is model that is usual requested is would plus verb zero and same like the conditional sentence type one if you want to place the if clause behind uh, there is no need to use comma um, same like conditional sentence type 1 uh, the inversion uh, in conditional sentence type 2 also have inversion and the formula is were plus subject plus word plus subject plus could and last plus verb zero for example um, of conditional sentence type 2 if I had the time, I would go to the concert. So, if as the if and I as the subject, had is the verb to uh, from the verb one is have. So, a uh, change to verb two is had. The time is the word, not the word. I is the subject. Would is the on the formula is so would. Go is the ver verb zero. And uh, the fact of this uh, example is I do not go to the concert because I didn't have, I did not have time. Next uh, example of inversion in conditional sentence type 2 is Were I a doctor, I would help her. Uh, so were as the auxiliary, auxiliary, I as the subject, a doctor is another word. I is the subject again, would is the as the would, uh, help as the verb zero, her is another word. Next, conditional sentence type three. Uh, in conditional sentence type three, expectation or presupposition owned by the subject really could not have happened be the fact that a card had already passed so in other word uh, in this conditional sentence step 3 uh, all that subject have or done it's it's never happened or this couldn't happen the formula is if plus subject plus verb 3 plus word plus subject plus would could might and plus have plus plus verb 3 the fact in conditional sentence type 3 is is past tense. Uh, note, I have two note also. The first one is model the usual request is would plus have plus verb 3. And also same like the conditional sentence type 1 and conditional sentence type 2. If you want to place if clause uh, behind, uh, there is no need to use commas. And uh, the inversion formula of conditional sentence type 3 is had plus subject plus verb 3 plus word plus subject again plus would plus have and plus verb 3. For example, uh, of conditional sentence type 3, if she found the right buyer, she would have sold the house. So if is the if. She is as the subject, found is the verb 3, the right buyer is another word or complement maybe. Mm -hmm. um, she again is the subject, would have as the would have on the formula, sold as the verb 3. 
the fact uh, of this uh, example of conditional sentence step 3 is she did not sell the house because she did not find the red buyer next example of inversion in conditional sentence step 3 had you invite me i would have come so had as the auxiliary you as the subject uh, invited me is the another word after that i as the subject would have come as the uh, verb zero next is as if or as thought so as if or as thought is indicate something contrary to reality or presupposition that are similar to conditional sentences there are two formula of as if or as thought the first one is uh, subject plus verb two plus as if or as thought plus subject plus verb two for example the old lady dresses uh, as if it were winter even in the summer so the fact is uh, now it's not winter the second example um, she acts as thought she were rich the fact is she is not rich and uh, the second formula is subject plus verb to plus as if or as thought plus subject plus had plus verb three for example james look as if he had seen a ghost uh, the fact is james is not look a ghost after that the second example uh, she looked at thought she had run 10 miles but the fact she is not run 10 miles okay i think that's all about my explanation um thank you so much for your attention and thank you so much for uh already watching me i'm sorry if there's uh, another mistake in my word or in my uh, pronunciation and uh, see you on my next video bye bye